Hello, welcome to another edition of Cisco Packet Tracer Simulation. In our previous tutorials, we captured how to simulate bus topology in Cisco Packet Tracer. This tutorial is made upon a request of one of our viewers on how to simulate mesh topologies. In this lesson, or in this tutorial, we will be talking about how to simulate mesh topologies in Cisco Packet Tracer. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to define or know what mesh topology is. Two, I will also lead you through on how to calculate the number of cables required for each or specific mesh topology. In that, I'll be taking you through a formula so that when you are asked uh, to come out or mention the number of cables that is needed in a certain network topology, you will be able to calculate for it. The next one we will be talking about how to arrange nodes in a mesh topology, assign IP addresses and test your connection by sending packets. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, share, and like. If there is any clarification that you will need, put it at the comment section and I will, I will tackle each of them. I am going to take my time to go through this tutorial so that you will be able to grasp all concepts relating to simulating a mesh topology. Define as the interconnection of nodes where each node is connected to each other. The number of cables that are required for a mesh topology is calculated by the formula N multiplied by N minus 1 or divided by 2 or N outside a bracket N minus 1 all divided by 2, where n is the number of nodes in the mesh topology. For example, if the number of nodes is say 4, that means it's going to be 4 multiplied by 4 minus 1 all over 2, and definitely your answer is going to be 6. Hence, you will need 6 cables. To establish a mesh topology of four nodes. Now let us go to how we will be able to arrange nodes in a mesh topology. I'm going to use five nodes. You can decide to use whichever number of nodes you want. Remember that the number of nodes will call for a specific switch and all the switches comes in a multiple of the four ports. So we have four, 12, and the likes. So I'm going to use the 2960 switch in the packet tracer for the simulation purpose. So we have one, two, Four, then the last one, five. Uh, remember, these are switches, hence, they are devices of the same type. Hence, the cable we are going to use is a crossover cable. Remember, they are devices of the same type, hence, we are going to use a crossover cable. So we head to your cable session and click on it. Now, in the previous tutorial, I said the packet tracer gives you the opportunity to select a cable, automatic cable. If you are not aware of the cable to use, so you, I, I'll go to automatically choose connection type. Automatically choose connection type. So you click on that, and then you connect the various switches together.
sorry. Okay, now let's see whether we have connected all the devices. Remember, there are five nodes that we are going to connect. Hence, we will require um, 10 cables. 10 cables, remember, 10 cables. Okay, if connect. Okay, we are done. Now let's now connect our pieces. So we head to end nodes. Select your PC and attach a PC to each of the switches. Okay, now we have pieces or nodes, uh, five nodes over here. Now let's connect them. Now you are connecting a PC to a switch, a PC to a switch. Hence, they are devices of different hot type. Therefore, we must use straight through cable. We must use straight through cable. So let's connect them first. Now we are done with the connection of the pieces to the various switches. The next thing we are going to do is to assign our IP addresses. In the previous lesson, I used class C IP address. This one, I'm going to use class A IP address. You can also decide to use the same class C address. But before you go there, you realize that some we have green light and orange or yellow light. The green light shows that our connection is stable. This is a green light. This is a green light. It shows that the connection is stable. Now the yellow or the orange light shows that the connection is not stable. It's yet to be stable. It takes some time. But definitely stability of connection is going to be established. As we wait for the connection to be established or become stable, let's assign our IP addresses. So you click the light click on a PC that you want to assign IP address so let's start from here go to desktop IP address then I'm saying um, this class C IP address so make sure that it's always on static we have 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 1 0 dot 0 yeah that which you press on enter or tap on the keyboard Good. I'm going to use to this one so I don't need to repeat in them. So I'm going to connect and use the same for the rest. So you can close now we are done. You press assign to the other pieces. Have to um, the first one was zero, so this one is going to be one. Let's see whether it is fully assigned. Good, is there? Good, the next one. Good, so now we are done with setting up of our, our IP address. This has been assigned. This has also been assigned. Okay, good. Now the next thing is to test our connection by sending packets. We are going to test our connection by sending um, packets. And so you click on um, add simple PDU add simple PDU. You click on that then uh, click on any of the PC then uh, let's use this one after which 
you go to let me go to simulate then click on play So let's see whether it's going to send feedback. Good. So you see, it has received feedback that the connection has been successful. And so these are what we call. Uh, the various scenarios these are what we call the various scenarios so it was checking uh, the first scenario that's where i'm moving the case of was successful it will test the various scenarios so uh, it means that our connection has fully been established in a mesh topology if you are new to this channel like i said in the beginning we are going to learn more both uh, in networking and other aspect make sure that you um subscribe to this channel share like if there's anything put your comment in the comment section and if there's a question that you also want me to answer for you i i will gladly do that uh, for you the next thing that we are going to do will be how to combine various network topologies into a single topology let's say uh, combining um, a bar three bus topology into let's say a star topology um, the next video is going to um, do that for us so i'm going to take you through uh, that tutorial so if you're new to this channel um, subscribe give me a thumb up comment and uh, stay tuned thank you so much for uh, watching and wait for the next tutorial thank you so much for coming to our channel don't forget to share these ideas to others for them also to learn make sure that you practice over and over if you don't have the cisco packet tracer visit the previous video i've left a link uh, where you can download the cisco packet tracer and successfully download if you encounter any challenge in installation of the cisco packet tracer on your pc put um, your challenges in the comment section and i will assist or lead you through the installation uh, process thank you for watching